This is Bowser. Well, hello, Bowser. Aren't you just the most adorable little thing? Yeah. Look at you enjoy. This is one of his favorite things to do. Oh, I can see why. Look at that focus. What does the future of AI look like? OpenAI gave us a glimpse, and it was nothing short of magical. They introduced a new model called GPT-40, now available for free and paid users of ChatGPT. So what's special about this new model? The new model comes with a voice assistant that sounds very natural and emotional. It also has vision capabilities, making it even more powerful. There are still many updates OpenAI hasn't shared yet. We are eagerly awaiting to hear about the next generation GPT-5 model which might be used for the paid version soon. And what about the AI video model Sora and the voice engine? During the live event, there was plenty to excite the AI fans. The new GPT-40 model can understand and respond to speech, images, and videos. This model can reply in either speech or text. Good news for free ChatGPT users. OpenAI is making many features that were only for paying customers available to everyone. These features include image and document analysis, data analytics, and custom GPT chatbots. This model was completely rebuilt and retrained by OpenAI. It can understand and respond to different types of input, like speech and images, without needing to convert them to text first. Want to try GPT-40? If you're a Plus subscriber, you already have access. Over the next few weeks, all ChatGPT users on mobile, desktop, and the web will get access too. At its I.O. event, Google announced Project Astra and Gemini Live, a voice and video assistant meant to compete with the new ChatGPT voice feature powered by GPT-40. But how do they compare? GPT-40 is a new type of AI model, but it didn't perform better than GPT-4 in standard text tasks. However, it shines in live speech and video analysis. It's also more conversational. GPT-40 has five impressive new features. It includes conversational speech and live translation across multiple languages, though these features are not live yet. OpenAI's GPT-40, especially chat GPT-4, makes Siri seem outdated, as noted by Mark Spoonauer the global editor-in-chief of Tom's Guide. Just before Google I.O., there aren't many confirmed details, but we have some leaks and rumors hinting at two major things. First, a new kind of voice assistant is expected. It's predicted that OpenAI will upgrade its whispering transcription model, creating a true end-to-end -end conversational AI you can talk to. Second, there might be new AI agent behavior. This means the AI could go beyond just talking and recognizing images. It might perform actions across the web for you. A big question on everyone's mind is, what does this mean for Apple? Reports say Apple is close to a deal with OpenAI to include ChatGPT features in Apple's iOS 18. How this will be done isn't clear yet. It could mean keeping ChatGPT as a separate app but giving it more access to iOS, or it might even replace Siri. Based on rumors and leaks, AI is expected to play a big role at WWDC. This includes using on-device and cloud-powered large language models to make your assistant smarter iOS 18 might also have new AI features like transcribing and summarizing voice recordings. Will we see how OpenAI and Apple plan to work together? It might not be obvious, but we'll be looking for clues. Don't expect ChatGPT5 to be announced at this event. CEO Sam Altman has already said it won't be. However, there is still a lot of speculation about this new version, which might debut by the end of the year. While there aren't many concrete details, it is known that GPT-5 has been in training since late last year. It's expected that the new model will be multimodal, meaning it can take input from more than just text. Rumors suggest that GPT-5 might shift from being just a chatbot to becoming an agent. This means it could act as an actual assistant, connecting to different services and performing real-world tasks. Generative AI has been crucial in giving humanoid robots a brain. GPT-5 might include spatial awareness data in its training, helping it understand its location and how humans interact with the world. OpenAI isn't targeting Google search yet, but leaks suggest an AI-powered search engine from the company is coming soon. Not much is known, but it's clear that it's in the later stages of testing. The idea seems to be to pair ChatGPT with a web crawler-based search. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman made it clear that a search engine will not be launched this week. The company's PR team also confirmed this when asked. However, this doesn't mean search features won't appear in the future. There is a theory floating around on X and other platforms that this could solve the knowledge cutoff problem. This issue arises because AI models only have information up to the end of their training, usually three to six months before launch. OpenAI recently published a model rulebook and specs. Among the suggested prompts are those offering real information, like phone numbers and emails for politicians. This would benefit from live access through web scraping, similar to how Google operates. While a search engine may not be on the horizon, OpenAI might add search-like features to ChatGPT. This means it could provide live data and help find information during conversations. 
A strange rumor suggests that OpenAI might soon enable you to make calls within ChatGPT, or at least offer some form of real-time communication beyond just text. As we are just moments away from OpenAI's big live event, one question on my mind is whether we'll get a sneak peek at future products alongside the new updates. Maybe even a surprise announcement, like Steve Jobs used to do with his one more thing. Sora has been a highly anticipated product since the launch of ChatGPT itself. Sora can create intricate scenes with many characters, precise movements, and detailed backgrounds, according to the company. OpenAI mentioned that Sora is capable of crafting complex scenes with multiple characters, specific movements, and accurate details to both the subject and the background. The model not only grasps what users want in the prompt, but also understands how these elements exist in the real world. We are teaching AI to comprehend and replicate the physical world in motion, aiming to train models that assist people in solving problems involving real-world interactions. OpenAI explained, The model has a strong grasp of language, allowing it to accurately understand prompts and generate captivating characters that convey vivid emotions, they added. Sora can transform a static image into a video and even extend or fill in missing frames in an existing video. Currently, Sora is still being developed, and OpenAI has given access to researchers, visual artists, designers, and filmmakers to evaluate potential risks or harms. They want feedback on how to improve the model for creative professionals. We are sharing our research early to collaborate with and receive feedback from people outside of OpenAI, and to give the public an idea of what AI advancements are coming. They explained, OpenAI has mentioned that the current Sora model has some weaknesses. It might have trouble accurately simulating the physics of a complex scene and understanding cause and effect relationships. The model could also mix up spatial details like left and right and struggle with describing events that happen over time, such as following a specific camera path. Sora isn't available to the public yet because OpenAI is taking safety precautions before releasing it in their products. We're collaborating with red teamers, experts in areas like misinformation, hateful content, and bias, who will rigorously test the model, they explained. We're also creating tools to spot misleading content, like a dedication classifier that can identify videos generated by Sora. Additionally, we've developed strong image classifiers to review every frame of generated videos, ensuring they follow our rules before users see them, explained OpenAI. The company also plans to talk with policymakers, educators, and artists worldwide to hear their concerns and find positive ways to use this new technology. Sora isn't the only model that can make videos. Last year, Meta added new AI features to its image generation model Emu, which can edit and create videos from text prompts. Meanwhile, earlier this year, Google introduced Lumiere, its new AI tool that generates videos from simple text prompts using generative AI. During the live stream, OpenAI Chief Technology Officer Mira Murati mentioned that the upcoming changes to ChatGPT will bring GPT-4 level intelligence to everyone, including free users. Marathi explained that OpenAI's next flagship model, GPT-40, is faster and enhances its capabilities across text, vision, and audio compared to GPT-4. The O in GPT-40 stands for Omni. During the live stream, the demo of GPT-40's real-time voice capabilities in the ChatGPT app sounded very natural. There were several examples of how the model responded seamlessly even when interrupted. OpenAI welcomes a robust debate on these matters but doesn't plan to make it open to the public. Instead, the committee's initial task will be to evaluate and enhance OpenAI's processes and safeguards over the next 90 days. OpenAI will then share an update on the adopted recommendations following a board review.